dystopia warning. There's still a need for a dystopia warning because we're not out of the woods yet, are we? No, we are on day two of the general election campaign 2024. Not a lot's really been going on today. Nah, um, it's been mostly over the past few days, the main party leaders giving their initial speeches in which they repeat one word over and over and over again until we believe it. And it's also been them going out and gradually, tentatively, you know, like an animal emerging out of its burrow after hibernation, interacting with the general public. Yeah, see, that's been a bit awkward, isn't he? A lot of people are saying that's because his software got damaged in all the rain. And you've also got to, in fairness, take into consideration the fact that he's deeply allergic to poor people. Yeah, he's not usually allowed near him. And because he's now running on basically what is effectively Windows Vista, he's gone back to his old factory settings as a, as a Tory robot, which is just to kill all the poor. That's why he's not allowed to interact with, you know, normal members of the public. And he has to only converse with Tory plants in the crowd, you know, like those councillors that asked him questions pretending to be normal people. We're also in a period called wash up which is a term that a lot of Tory GAC dealers will be familiar with. In political terms, it's them, I don't know, trying to get through the laws they want to get through or some shit. Anyway, I'm making this video today because within moments of the general election being called, people were like flooding my DMs, right? And, it, and it's the very similar kind of theme to what I get in comments under most of my videos. I just want to say first and foremost, that I can't answer all my DMs. I'd go mental, more mental. I'm the captain of my own ship and I run a pretty loose ship. I just want to go through some of the main themes that I get and I'm sure you can guess the kind of messages that I get. You know, not, not knob shots, no. Uh, they know better than that because I would contact their employer and their mums. So the first response is, I don't like Keir Starmer. Okay, why are you telling me? Genuinely, why? What, what do you expect me to do about that, exactly? Or, I can't vote for Keir Starmer. Firstly, you're not voting for Keir Starmer, you're voting for the local Labour candidate and it's not a presidential system, mate. Eh? Plus, there's loads of progressives in Labour, you know, that you're throwing out with the bathwater off the top of my head. Nadia Whittam, Zara Sultana, Dawn Butler. And then there's the classic, isn't there? They're all the same. Do people realise how eye-rollingly predictable and tedious that comment is? Not to mention factually completely inaccurate. It's such a basic bitch response especially enraging to me because I've been making content for four years which is focused purely on holding the Tories accountable, right? All the crimes, all the scandals, sometimes multiple scandals breaking in one day. I've always been really clear that I'm a Labour member, right? But I advocate for tactical voting. And even if I didn't advocate for tactical voting, under the current first-past-the-post system, it's a two-horse race, isn't it? And in terms of my personal opinion, aside from all the tactical voting and aside from the campaign that I'm associated with, I don't think people realise that the only reason that Rishi Sunak has called this election is because he has bankrupted the country. Billions in COVID fraud. Half a billion on a wasted Rwanda scheme. No wonder Labour having to be tentative. Because they're, they're inheriting a nightmare. Another common thing is people saying, oh, I'd prefer this candidate to win in this area. Could you add them to the tactical? No. No, because that's not how tactical voting works. It's not a preference. It's not ideological. It's logical. It's a data-based aim with a very clear objective. Destroying the Conservative government and the Conservative Party for good. If we all vote tactically to get out or keep out a Conservative government, then bye, it's game over. Another one I hear is, oh, I want to vote with my heart. Yeah, don't we all, mate? There are still some areas where you can do that, where it, it kind of just so happens to turn out that it's like, you know, almost like having a functioning democratic voting system. But in the vast majority of areas in the country, that isn't happening. First past the post is a deeply undemocratic voting system. The only other place in Europe that has it is a literal dictatorship. It's a system which consistently benefits the Conservatives and completely disregards progressive votes, despite the progressive vote outweighing the Conservative vote. Tactical voting is a step in the right direction. It's a process. It's us finding a loophole in systems designed to benefit the Conservatives and then using them to our advantage. We're making people aware of the limitations of that voting system and then we're telling them how they can overcome it to get what they want. If you do this thing, we will achieve our aims. And what's our aim? 
dismantling one of the oldest most consistently damaging self-serving and hateful political parties in britain it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and any commentator out there that's telling you to vote for a party that hasn't got hope in hell of winning the seat isn't giving you the full facts no and also whose side are they on because uh, doing that will split the progressive vote and that's how the Tories sneak in. And not just that, they rely on us doing that. Just like they rely on us not being informed, being apathetic, not using our vote. You can't deny our political reality, but you can protest against it. And it's not like any of us want to tactically vote. We don't sit there and go, oh, I bloody love tactical voting. It's just a means for us to get one step closer you know, whilst using the systems, because if you don't use the systems, you're just an eternal protester. It's a step closer to achieving the aims that we want, which are progressive, voter reform, press reform, our public services being a priority, nationalisation. It's a plan and it'll work, but only if you turn up. Another one I get is, oh, why should I vote for Labour? We've got the website there, which will tell you you know how you can vote tactically if you want to but the answer to that question is pretty simple isn't it under our voting system it's more Tory but as for the question why should I vote for Labour I don't know mate if you tried using a hospital lately how about you look at the four years of videos that I've made outlining every single scandal how about you wake up to the fact that these lads are you know robbing your taxes they helped kill your nan who you had to watch on zoom whilst they partied and got off their tits on cocaine in Downing Street Here's Gordon Brown, texture like sun, with a list of reasons that spell out the difference between a Conservative and a Labour government. Then look at what we have achieved together since 1997. The winter fuel allowance, the shortest waiting times in history, crime down by a third, the creation of Sure Start, the cancer guarantee, record results in schools, more students than ever, the Disability Discrimination Act, devolution, civil partnerships, peace in Northern Ireland, the social chapter, half a million children out of poverty, maternity pay, paternity leave, child benefit at record levels, the minimum wage, the ban on cluster bombs, the cancelling of debt, the trebling of aid, the first ever Climate Change Act. That's the Britain we've been building together. That's the change we choose. How can people still wonder? After 14 years of this, anything would be better. My, my cat in a fucking bow tie would be better than those clowns playing at running the country. We're not telling anyone what to do. We're just providing a resource that will decimate them. Purity, you know, party political purity, ideology, individualism. That's all irrelevant if you're gonna spend the next five years with a boot on your neck. Don't know about you, but I'd prefer to take a gamble on a party that might not meet every single one of my individual personal needs that is at least a change rather than facing the same old guaranteed fascism. Now, you can be a part of the movement that are trying to affect change and bring down the Conservative Party, or you can sit there whining about Starmer. But if you want to do the latter, I don't really particularly want to hear about it because I've got a job to do. So yeah, if you want to, join us. We haven't failed yet. The results in two local election campaigns in which they suffered catastrophic losses is proof of that. We will win this. It's just a case of how bad it will be for those bastards that have spent 14 years destroying our country. My conservative estimate is extinction. Da, 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 da. F stop the Tories.